Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to see your active power plant in Windows. Power plants are kind of a big deal for most people. There's some pretty cool pre-configured ones, including balance, power saver, high performance, and ultimate performance, which we have links in this video, which you can find with the eye up here or in the video description to follow through and maybe find out how to enable some of these additional power plants. But let's see what you've got. So let's start with the control panel for Windows 7 and 8, start control panel power options. Windows 10, we got to dig a little bit deeper. We're going to go to start, click on settings, click on system, and click on power and sleep. So now that we've gotten this far, we have to actually click on additional power settings to get to the control panel. And there you can see I'm using the high performance. You can see additional plans. And while we're here, it's worth mentioning that in a lot of cases, it doesn't really matter what plan you have as much as modifying the advanced power settings where you can do anything you want. So you can actually create your own plan. So that's kind of neat to know. But yeah, we're still at the control panel for that. Another thing, Windows 10 users, you can start typing control and search and open the control panel. If you don't see power, you want to do view by large or small icons. Let's do large. And just scroll down alphabetically until you see power options right there. As you can see, it's a little faster that way for most people, but whatever is good for you. And next thing you can do is PowerShell or the command prompt, and we're out of here as soon as we show you this. So just highlight or type this in. It's really, really easy to copy. Power CFG space forward slash get active scheme. I'm a copy and paste nut and maybe a tad lazy with my spelling because I screw up a lot. So I'm going to copy that. You do that by putting your mouse right here. Hold that left mouse button down. Drag it across. Let go of the mouse. Right click. Copy. So let's do PowerShell. Control V. Enter, and you can see the GUID and it's high performance. It's going to be pretty close to the same in command prompts so of Windows 10 CMD. Control V, press Enter, and you can see they are identical. Pretty easy to do. At least this way you know what you have. And again, the biggest thing about this, as I mentioned, was go ahead and change your plan settings. And if you click through to this tutorial, Here's how to turn on the Windows 10 Ultimate Performance Plan. And again, I can't help but repeat this enough. Once you've turned it on, you, you want to go edit it because you could basically, for the most part, use the basic power plan and just edit it and come out with almost the same thing you have there. But that's a simple way to just choose your plan. So you have the basics and you can just jump from one to the other as needed. And there you have it, how to see your active power plan in Windows. As mentioned, check for the eye up here, the video description for a link to the tutorial where you can grab these other links, including turning on the ultimate performance plan, turning on the high performance plan, and adding them so you can actually end up with all these plans, which is another neat way to do it. So instead of seeing these two, you might see four different plans in there, giving you more options with a quick one click. And there you have it. That's how to see your active power plan in Windows and a little bit more. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.